six million Jews, six million human beings murdered in the ghettos, in the execution pits, in the death camps. We have 5 million Jews in America, 50% of them will disappear. Some rabbis say this is a, a crisis, this is a, a, a spiritual holocaust. What other solution do we have to stop assimilation? It's everything starts with education of our kids. 20 years from now that I should have that, uh, that blessing of being present at my son's wedding. I can't even imagine if it's not going to be a Jewish one. We know that most of the Israeli community and the Jewish community in South Florida are sending their kids to public schools, and we know what that means. I think it's very sad that some people that cannot afford um, Jewish education have to go somewhere else. יש לנו ילדה בת ארבע שהייתה שרצינו לשים אותה בבית ספר יהודי. לא מצאנו משהו שיכול... שיהיה נוח לנו לכיס, הכל היה מאוד יקר. בתי ספר היו פה מאוד יקרים של הדתיים או היהודים. לא, לא, לא מצאנו לנכון איפה לשים אותה, ומעין ברירה שמנו אותה בבית ספר של גויים. We're middle-class people. We cannot afford to have half of what we're making in the, in the month to go towards school because it doesn't even make sense. And then you're faced with, should I put just one child and maybe the other one's not? The cost makes it impossible for parents to give their children Jewish education. I don't know where I would put my son if it weren't for Masoret Yudit. I have one child, but if I had two or more children, that would definitely not be an option. Five years ago, um, I get a phone call from my friend, one of the founders of the school, and he says, um, we have this great project. The idea was to open a school, affordable school. There's around 60,000 Israelis living in Miami, South Florida. And um, one of the things we saw is that 90% of those families are sending their kids to public schools, which means that those kids don't have a Jewish future they will assimilate. When we came here, the uh, Masoret Yudit was just about a month old. It was new, there were only 30 kids, um, but we're so glad we did it. Five years later, we see our son knowing as much as he knows in first grade about Judaism, the pride that he feels about being Jewish. <laughs> It melt me when I see my old, my four-year-old praying in Hebrew, which is a huge thing for me. You know, so that's what it is when your child is in the right environment. That's that's basically the outcome, and I'm happy for that. Very happy. <laughs> ומסורת ויהדות.
Nobody foresaw the the tremendous and quick growth that the school had. I mean, it definitely came and filled a need that that existed in South Florida. We are now over 200 students, over 200 students in less than five years. It's unbelievable. It's it's. I think it's astounding. It just speaks volumes to what the need is and what Masoret Yudi does to fulfill this need. Masoret Yudi was founded to give an affordable quality education to students in South Florida. Masori Yehudit is re-envisioning the Jewish day school experience to make it affordable for all Jewish families by incorporating 21st century educational approaches focusing on innovative, high-quality education. Our team of experienced teachers and professional educators have developed an innovative program that incorporates technology into the learning. We are committed to excellence in Judaic and secular studies and strive to foster in our students a love of Torah and mitzvot, a deep commitment to Eretz Yisrael. I don't think we're compromising in any way on the affordability. I, I, I see the organizational level, I see the um, in all the information that the teacher provides us on a daily basis of what our ch children is, are doing. Um, the curriculum, it's, it's, it's right up there with, with, with other much more expensive schools. Our students start each day by joining together for morning tefillot, hatikva, the Pledge of Allegiance, and our school anthem. Monthly award ceremonies honor students not only for academic success, but for midot and effort as well. Kabbalat Shabbat with Rabbi Kornfeld engages the students in the beautiful feelings of honoring Shabbat, which they then bring home and share with their families. The influence that we have on the students has a direct impact on the families who are losing their Jewish identity and are now reconnecting to their heritage. A school of 30 children and a school of 200 children is a totally different school. This tremendous big rise in number that, that we've seen over the last five years also requires a different system and God knows that if we had you know a bigger space if we had more services we could easily grow to 250 or 300 or more this year alone we've had to turn away a few students uh, in the elementary school uh, for lack of space I don't want to see any of these children going to public school because we couldn't provide. This is a movement that I think is very important to families that are faced with going to public school and because they have no choice. In my life, I didn't want to put my children in a kind of a school. It's just what I left to public school. And in public school, זה היה התבוללות והתערבבות שזה לא, לא מוסכם עליי בכלל. טוב שנכנס, שנפתח מסורת יהודית פה, שבא לקראתנו, בא לעזור לנו, עזר לנו, שני הבנות שלי פה, ברוך השם, בעזרת השם, הקדוש ברוך הוא גם שנה הבאה, גם הבת השלישית נכנסת לפה. הלוואי והיה לגדולה שלי גם כיתה לפה, שיכלנו להכניס אותה לפה, ככה היינו עוד יותר מרוצים. As a rabbi of this school, there's no such thing that a family will come to me and say, I can afford Jewish education and that's why I'm not sending to Jewish education. I'm not going to let that happen. We need the support. We need somebody to step up or a few people to step up and say, this is important. I see everything that you are doing. I come from the nonprofit world. I know that every good cause has a few people rallying behind it and supporting it during weak moments during times of growth spurts. We've definitely experienced a tremendous growth spurt and we need those people who could do it to step up. I don't think that money should be an issue for people that want to have a Jewish education and that cannot afford it. It should not be an issue. Everybody who cares about the Nitzchiyut of Am Yisrael, of the future of Am Yisrael, has to join to this project. Everybody who cares about this simulation that's going around the world has to join and be part. We're doing it, there's no other solution. Everybody's talking about solutions of preventing assimilation. This is the only solution and it's happening over here in Masoat Yudit. 200 kids 
are in school, in Jewish school, in an affordable Jewish education, and we're stopping assimilation.